information tonight as we are hearing from a couple of upset parents after they saw a man sitting outside their Limestone County home. Take a look. Limestone County deputies confirm this man is Bradley Loggins. The former youth softball coach was arrested back in March on sodomy and child sex abuse charges. White 31 Scotty K joins us live from the neighborhood where he was reportedly parked suspiciously, putting parents understandably on edge. Scotty. That's right, Naja. A concerned mother snapped this picture of a man parked outside of her home. Now, at the time, she had no idea what this man was accused of doing, but now she tells me she's glad she was extra cautious. My youngest daughter and I were just, we were walking through the house and we walked by the front door and I noticed a vehicle stopped in front of our house and we live on a dead end street so that's not normal usually. Brandy Weigert has seven children. She tells me her kids safety is her top priority. So when she noticed something suspicious in her neighborhood, she reacted. The guy was just staring at our house and he just kept staring. So finally I opened the door. Well, first I snapped a picture, and then when I opened the door, he drove off. When he drove off, that concerned Weigert, so she posted this picture she took to social media to see if anyone recognized the man. She told her husband Matt about the incident, and he actually confronted the man when they saw his vehicle not far from their home the very next day. I just asked him why he was in front of our house sitting for so long and what his intentions was. What did he say? He said that he had roofed our house when it was built which has been 10 years ago. An excuse that was not enough to make the Weigerts feel that his behavior was okay, so they filed a police report. That's when they learned the man, Bradley Loggins, is a former softball coach for an Ardmore youth recreational team accused of child sex crimes involving at least three young girls. I have no sympathy for anyone like that. We originally just thought maybe he was just casing houses out to, you know, break into them. Uh, and then when we found this out, that was even a lot more alarming than what we originally thought. It's better that I didn't know that when I confronted him that day. The Weigerts tell me there are other children in their neighborhood, and they'd like to see Loggins put behind bars so that something like this doesn't happen again. Until then, just staying aware and alert, and you never know these days. You can't, you really can't trust anybody. Now, the Limestone County Sheriff's Office is investigating, and they ask that if you experience anything like this, you should contact them immediately. Live in Limestone County, Scotty K, Way 31 News.